Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Manetric and Mega Manetric, so yeah, we're just going to jump in and get started. So first of all we have Manetric with a Choice Scarf and Lightning Rod. So Lightning Rod, if you get hit by an electric type attack, your special attack increases by 1. Then we have Thunder, Flamethrower, Hidden Power Ice and Switcheroo. So Thunder and Hidden Power Ice go really well together because the immunity to Thunder is covered by the Hidden Power Ice. Then we have Thunder that will just completely destroy everything. You do want to be cautious though because it has got the chance to miss. And Flamethrower just hits a couple of other mons like Grass types, Steel types, uh, Ice types. They can just be a little bit frustrating. And Switcheroo... Sorry, I got the hiccups. <laughs> Switcheroo to give that Choice Scarf to mons that don't want that Choice Scarf. So things like a maybe a Porygon 2 or something. Something that really doesn't benefit from having a Choice Scarf. Some more bulky mons generally. Uh, then we have max attack and max speed on this thing with a timid nature, so more speed and less attack, and four EVs in special defense. Yeah, I think this is quite a nice set. Um, you do get choiced into something, though, uh, unless you've done the switcheroo, but yeah, just be cautious and work it out. And then the second set we have is a physical set, because I thought, screw it, let's go for a more gimmicky physical set. Um, we have Electrium Z and Static, so Static has a 30% to paralyze on contact. Uh, when you're you're hit by a contact move, Electrium Z goes well with the Wild Charge here and just gives it a bit more of a destructive power. Crunch can is good for general coverage. Dark type moves are quite nice to have. Ice Fang again coverage for those ground types and Quick Attack because sometimes that can just ensure a kill. Having that priority there is super clutch. And then EVs we have Max Attack and Max Speed with a Jolly Nature, so more speed and less Special Attack and four EVs in Special Defense. As I said, this is more of a gimmick set but it might work for you, catch the opponent off guard, and just start doing some wreckage. And then the last set we have is Mega Manetrix with a Manic Tite, which obviously is where it has to, hold, has to hold to a Mega Revolve, and then we have Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Volt Switch, and Hidden Power Ice. So very similar to that first set, but we have Volt Switch instead of Switcheroo, because we're not getting rid of our item, and Volt Switch can ensure us to switch out sometimes. Uh, then we have Max Special Attack, Max Speed with a Timid Nature, and uh, four EVs in special defense. You can run modest if you want to, but I would recommend running timid just to ensure that you outspeed those base 30 mons that can be annoying as heck. And yes, that is it for Manetric and Mega Manetric. I've never really bothered using them. I really don't like Mega Manetric's design. Um, I know a lot of people really do, but I just really don't like it. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I will see you soon.